Hey everyone, this is Tim Friedau and today I'll be reviewing Poplinks, which is in a nutshell, a two-step funnel builder that allows you to create those funnels super duper quickly. I think that makes this product stand out. Plus it does a lot more than that. It has a built-in link shortener service. Plus it also allows you to create a call to actions on other people's website like pop-ups, etc., so that you can share other people's websites uh, to promote your own products on top of those websites. Now, I have to say up front that this is not the typical $27 to $67 offer that I'm reviewing. So what I did up front is I emailed my list and I said, hey, I have a cool product, a landing page builder or a page builder with a lot of options. Are you interested for a price point of $297? Because that's what Poplinks is costing. I got a lot of positive fe uh, positive feedback from you guys, so thank you for that. Uh, it made me decide to review this product, and I have to say upfront that I really, really like this product. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna dive into this product, gonna show you all the ins and the outs as much as I know. But before I do so, I wanna mention that there is a link in the description of this video if you're seeing this on YouTube. It will redirect you to my website uh, where I'm also going to give you some free extras if you decide to purchase Poplinks through my link. Now, one of these extras, or actually the extra that you're going to get from me, is a free VidSmart account. Now, you can see an example on my website. This product is normally $39 per month, which is a video hosting service where you can host your videos and it will automatically transcribe those videos put uh, plus it will also create the same videos in different languages now look at this this is the original video hey guys it's tim here and welcome to my course real review so this is the english version but when you look here you can click on german french italian so look at this one hey leute here is tim und willkommen zu meiner course real there you have the German version, or maybe you want to have a French version. Salut les gars, c'est Tim ici et bienvenue dans ma revue Course Reel. And the cool thing is it will automatically give tags to the videos. It will give transcriptions automatically in the different languages as well. So people can listen and read at the same time. You can embed these videos on your own website. You're going to get it completely free as a thank you for getting pop links through my link. Now. Let's dive into this review and let me show you what Poplinks is all about. Now, the main thing about Poplinks, I think that's the lead steps. Those are the two-step funnel pages that you can create inside of Poplinks. So you can find everything here in the left menu. And this left menu will stick there all the time so you have quick access to it. So you can create those lead step pages. You can also create bridge pages uh, and you can create Poplinks. Now, Poplinks is a link shortener with some very nifty things built inside of this. Um, the last one, which is not available, which is the page snaps, which allows you to put call to actions on other people's websites. That's not available yet in my account. So unfortunately, I cannot show you that, but more about that on the sales page. I think the best thing to do is to show you the lead steps, how easy it is to create your two-step uh, funnel pages uh, and yeah, let's just show that. So here at the right top, you have a new lead step button. When you click on that, you can give your funnel pages a name. So I'm going to call this demo demo two. And here you can select your category. Now you can create different categories if you like to. So in this case, I've created giveaways, ads pages. If you run ads freebies, if you're going to give away freebie pages, but you can create your own category. So in this case, we're going to call this default. And we're gonna create our lead step pages. Now, the cool thing is it comes with a bunch of templates here. When I scroll down, look at all the different templates. So all these templates have been pre-configured for you. And if you wanna check them out, you can simply hover over them. You can preview a page like this. So this is a done for you page. Um, you can preview all those pages. So here's another one. You can preview this. And they're all different kinds of styles, as you can see. And there are a bunch of them. I can keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling, as you can see. Now, the cool thing is here at the top, it says click. Oh, let me, by the way, restart my mouse because it's not enlarging here. Click here to get started. This opens the global editor. When I click on this, it will open the global editor for me. Now, what I can do in here, I can already type in here what I want to see here in these templates. Actually, it's already a builder that we're working in. So when I grab this 
content, for example, this title, I can paste it in here as the main headline. And look what this changes here. Get your free VidSmart account as a bonus for purchasing through my link. Get your free VidSmart. Do you see that? All the examples already filled out with the text, with the main headline that I fill out in here. The same is for the callout statement here at the top. So this is the subhead line above the main headline. So you can type whatever you want in here. As you can see, it changes on the fly here on the previews. And when you delete it, it automatically goes back to the original one. And there are also some advanced things in here. When you click on this, you can also do the text on the button. So let's say direct access. As you can see, everything changes here. The bundle here of the button automatically changes to direct access in the privacy statement. You can change these things in here. So once you filled out the information, let me delete this because I just want to get the demo. Uh, you can simply choose one of the templates that you like. So you can scroll down the page. And then once you find one that you like, let's say I like this one, you can select this one and now the page builder has been opened. Your page has been saved automatically as well. And I think that's one of the cool things about uh, Poplinks that everything is saved on the fly. And I'm going to show you a cool example about that as well. Um, but look at this. This is the page builder. As you can see here at the top, this page has a step one and a step two. So this is the second page. So on step one here, people can sign up. And on step two, they can get their giveaway, their download, whatever you have for them. Uh, and if you decide to do a pop-up, that's also possible. When I select pop-up, step one changes to a button which shows a pop-up. And then once they fill out the pop-up, they go to step two. And each page you can uh, configure yourself. So let's disable the pop-up. Let's go to step one. And for each thing inside of this builder here, you can change everything here on the right side. I have to say, you need to keep in mind that this is not a drag and drop page builder. These are quick two-step funnel. This is two-step funnel creator software. So it's not that you're going to get all at all different kinds of elements. You have these elements and you can add a few elements automatically. I'm going to show you that. But first, let's go step through step. So first of all, you can create the background color. So if you like to have another color here, uh, you can change this to whatever color you like in the background, as you can see. Also, you can add your own images here. Or one of the very cool options, which I also use all the time, is the gradient part. I really like gradient pages. You can see here, this looks really, really cool. So this is the first color, and then this is the second color. Now look how cool these pages look like right now. And you can change here the stop. So you can make this longer, or you can make this shorter. Here, do you see that? You can move these gradients here i i really like this you can even change the the angle in here so you can change from right to left from left to right from bottom to top and it, it's super super slick and on top of that you have multiple tabs here so this is the first step this is the second tab where you can add extra elements to your page so if you want to add a video block you can do that you select your video block and look at this suddenly a video is on your page and if you want to at an image block, you simply select the image block and you upload your own image in here. Or maybe if you want to add bullets to the bottom, you simply select these bullets and now you have bullets here. So for each element that you select here, you can modify the things here at the right side. So if you want to have this text gradient, you can do that even as well. So let's say you want to have this text go from, from, from yellow, for example, here, a yellow color to a... Um, I don't know, maybe red here. Look at this. You see, you can even change this here. And also you can drag and drop these handles in here so that you can modify this. I think this looks really cool. Also the angle in here, you can change that. I'm on top of it right now. Uh, but here the angle, you can change that. So you can change the angle in here. I think this looks really cool. Uh, so for each element, you can do a highlight. So the background color of your text, you could do full width or a minimal width. So if you do minimal width, here, you, you change that as well. And then you can change here, when you go to the next step, uh, you can do the spacing. So the spacing before here. So it gives you flexibility here, uh, spacing at the bottom. You can even change the line height of your font in here. And then the next thing here is if you want to have text transformation. So for example, you like to have everything uh, uppercase. Boom, every font is uppercase. 
or maybe none, or you want to have lowercase everything, uh, you can do that in here. Also, text shadows, if you want to have a strong shadow, you can add that to your text or a subtitle, or maybe none. In this case, none is better. And then in here, you can also do mobile animations if you like to. I don't like animations, so I'm going to keep that on zero. And that's how you configure each part. So when I select the second part, I can do exactly the same. And for the button in here, uh, you can change simply by typing. So here's get access or get instant access. And then you can configure the button here at the right side again. So you have the customized button. You can do a wireframe button if you like to with a, a white text, for example. If this is oh, a white text here, if this is what you like better, well, let me select this one white here. Oh, this is the background I didn't select. Hold on, I'm messing up. I'm messing up, I'm messing up. This needs to be white. White text, yeah. Get instant access with a wireframe. Um, but in this case, let's just do a solid button in here uh, with a gradient background. You could do that here as well. So you can say, I want to have a blue button here. Look at this. And then that's the first one. And... You can decide yourself if you like to do this button background color here, if you like to change this from green here to blue, you can do that. You can change the text and everything can be changed in here. So the spacing again of the button and here you can do a minimal width. So if you want to change the button, change it in here or a full width or a minimal. Now I want to change the text first because I really don't like this button. I think this looks way better here. Uh, but you can change this, everything uh, here as well. You can do an oval button if you, if you like to with rounded or maybe a, a rounded button here, a round button if you want to do that. Everything can be changed in here. You could do large buttons if you want to have a huge button uh, and then text transformation, the same things in here again. And then also you could do an animation. So when you hover over this button, it will animate. So. Each part here also for the last part, you could do the bold color if you like to change this to white or maybe you want to have the bold color in, in yellow. You can change these, these colors in here. The bullet icons, you can make them blue here so that they stand out. And look at this, you've created your page. And this is just showing you everything because the page was already done, right? Now I'm going to show you one cool thing here is when I go to the lead steps in here, let me open this in a new page actually. Uh, when I open this page, go to link, look at this. So this is the page that we created, right? Look at this. So this is the background and I like to change this background to blue again. Look at this. This is way better, right? Now look, when I refresh my page, I didn't save anything. Boom. The page has been changed instantly. So everything has been changed on this page. What you're seeing right here has been changed automatically on this page. Let me refresh this. And what I notice now is that this text is not visible right now. So I'm not sure why this is. Let me put this to a solid picture in here. Let me refresh. Not sure why this is not visible. So maybe I have done something wrong. Honestly, I'm not sure why this is not visible because it should be visible on the page. Yeah, so I paused the video and I'm back. Uh, the issue was that when I created this page, I deleted this text, remember, so it was not visible. And in the preview here, it is visible. So what I did, I simply copy and pasted it in here uh, and now it's working. So we can get that gradient text again. So look at this, it, I've created a gradient, I refresh my page and boom, it's gradient on the preview page or on my landing page. And that's how quickly it goes. So you have your step one and then your step pa two page. Look at this. That's the cool thing as well about poplinks. When you change things in step one, it automatically changes the things on step two. So automatically, this is the same style as your first page. And again, on step two, if you don't like to have a video, you simply disable this video and people can download their purchase or they can download after they have opted into your to your leads. So if you like to change your theme, so let's say you, you don't like this theme, the cool thing is, well, let me first show you something else here because at the, at the top here, we have a gallery, shuffle template size and view and browser. So when I shuffle template size, look what happens, boom. It automatically creates different versions of this page as well. So you can do that as well. 
And if you want to preview it, you can simply click on this preview button. Now, the cool thing is that if you like to have a different version, so you like to change this, you can simply select another template and boom, we've got exactly the same that we just had, but now with a different template. And if you want to change templates again, you simply say, okay, I want to have this template here. Boom. Now this template has been added. And when I refresh my page, look at this, it's already been changed. Now that is the page builder, everything that's inside of the page builder. And, um, when you have the opt-in forms, you can link this to your autoresponder, et cetera. I'm gonna show you the integrations as well. Uh, but this is what the page builder is about. Now, one of the cool things, so let me go to the dashboard and let me open my phone actually. Let me see if I can share my phone. Yes, there it is. Is that you can create those pages on your phone as well. So uh, I can see everything on my phone as well. So when I scroll down here, I can see the total clicks, everything that we just saw here, the mobile, everything is visible on my mobile phone. So if I like to go to my lead steps, I simply select my lead steps here and I can see all my lead steps. Do you see that? And if I want to change my lead step, I can simply go into a lead step and I can change everything. So if you want to change this, I want to have multiple here, exclamation marks. I do that right? I can change my pages with my mobile phone. Now, there are not many page builders that allows you to do so. And again, you can change everything in here. So if I want to change this text and I want to change the color of this text, I want to have this, for example, I want to have this a red color. I can select that. I can go back to my page and look at this. It's red in here. And when we go back to our lead steps here, and let me show you the page that we just had that we just created. I think it's, uh, let me see, 170,000, this one. So this is the page that we just saw, right? So when I go back to my computer, this is the, the page. Now, when I go back to my mobile, look at the text. So I'm gonna change this text to, uh, let me select this text in here because it's not very readable. I'm going to change this text here to a white color. So, and then also the bottom one, I'm going to change that to a more uh, of a um, yellow color here. So look at this. I want to see this. So when I go back to my computer here and I refresh my page, look at this, boom. So what I change on mobile goes just as fast as you can see. So on my mobile, I can also see everything. I can see everything that I need. I can access from my mobile phone. Oh ticking too much. I can go to my lead steps here and I can see all the details as well. So I can see uh, how many views I got for my pages here, how many opt-ins I got for my pages, how many conversions, how many click-throughs, click-through percentage, etc. I can access this menu in here, but here I can do the rest as well. You see, I can edit, I can clone this lead step, I can fire text, I can delete this, I can set up integration, I can go to the link, etc. So when I visit this on mobile, this is the page actually that we just created. And this is the page on mobile. So I think it's it's pretty cool that you're able to edit your pages on mobile phone. There are not many page builders that are able to do so. Uh, and let's go to the other options. So you can create lead pages in here. And just like the lead pages, you can create bridge pages yourself. So basically they're divided in lead steps and bridge pages, and it works exactly the same. You simply click on create a page here and you give your page a name, you select a category and you add a bridge page. So you can choose from one of the templates again. And if you like one, you simply select it and you can start editing. So a bridge page is basically a single page. Uh, you know, when you do when you do ads on YouTube, for example, and you want to redirect them to an affiliate offer, you always need to have a step one page in between a bridge page. So this is how you can create your bridge pages and it works exactly the same. If you want to add a video block, you can add a video block in here as well. Uh, and if you like to add a pop-up, so tell me more, if you like to add a pop-up first, you can redirect them to this pop-up and then redirect them uh, yeah, to the actual offer if you want to get the email address first. So that's the bridge page part. Now, then there's a whole new module, which is basically a complete new product as well, which are the pop links. You can create pop links in here. And when I go to the tracking here at the left side, you can see a link bank and a page bank. So the link bank is everything from pop links. So these 
links that you see here are the links that I've created with pop links. And uh, this is a link shortener. So for example, the TuneMingo, when I go to the right side here, I can say, copy my link. And when I paste this in my browser here, this link, look what happens. It redirects to my TuneMingo review. And then automatically in the back end, it registers a new click here. So you can see the raw clicks, the unique clicks, uh, which groups there are here. You can see that uh, the raw clicks in here, you can see nine clicks, nine clicks, the unique clicks, three, two, two, uh, and you can see all your links this way. Now, the very cool thing about Poplink, let me show you. First of all, it's a great link, uh, link builder tool. So let's say I wanna create a link to my website. Or let's say I have an offer. Let's say just scroll through my website here. Let's say this offer actually, there's one of these, this adverts suite. Um, no, not this one. There's another, another other product which is already reach out to you. This one already expired this offer. So this one is not no longer available for purchase. So what I can do here is let me show you. So this is reach out suite. Let's say we want to create a link for reach out suite here. Then the destination URL is the URL to my website, right? So this is the URL that I want to redirect to. Now you can use the system domain URLs, uh, which is uh, redideal.com, bravooffer.com or specialzap.com. If you want to use this, your links will be specialzap.com slash your link. You can also use your personal links where you can add your own domain to poplinks. That's what I've done here. I've created a domain which is called poplinks.timvredow.com. So this is on my own domain. You could also do timvredow.com as a domain for poplinks, but in my case, I already have a website on timvredow.com. Uh, but you can use any domain with poplinks. So I'm gonna select this one and I'm gonna do uh, reach out suite here. So the URL becomes poplinks.timfredout.com slash reach out link. Now, here are some cool options that you can select vendors. So in this case, this is Neil Napier, this product, and I've promoted this on pay kickstart. So you're, you can you can set this up yourself. You can add the vendors yourself. You can also add one vendor if you're the only vendor uh, or the network that you're promoting for here, uh, the people that you're promoting for, you can add that in here in the vendor settings, in the group settings, in my case, I've added all the affiliate networks like Pay Kickstart, ClickBank, JVZoo, Thrivecart, etc. So this one is on JVZoo. Now the cool thing here is that you can select advanced options, and here you can add pixels. So when you want to add your Facebook pixel, etc. But this one is also very cool. Here, set up your dates for your links. Now, when I set up a date here for this link, let's say this offer goes in uh, yesterday and it ends, for example, uh, this Monday, right? So this offer is still active right now. What I can do here is I can set pages. I can set pending pages and complete pages. Now, a pending page is a coming soon page. So what I've done is I've set up a coming soon page inside of Poplinks. Uh, or I, I'm going to show you how to do that as well here. In group library, you can do that. Let me open this so that you understand what I mean. In group library here, you can go to the holding pages where you can set up these pending pages and complete pages. So in this case, I've created here, uh, let me see here. I think I've created here. When you click on add page, you can add a pending page. So here you could say, for example, coming soon, and there you can add a URL to your coming soon page. The same thing can be done for completed pages. Here you can add a page which says uh, offer expired. And then uh, expired, let me type that one, expired. Here, then you can redirect it to your URL, which is expired. And then they will be here in the list coming soon. As you can see, this is the coming soon page. I have an expired, sorry, this offer has expired. So when I edit this coming soon link, you can see here, this coming soon redirects to timfordcom slash coming soon page. Now these links can be configured when you create a new pop link like we're doing here. So my complete page means the date is over. This offer has expired. Now, when I save my changes, this offer is active. You can see this offer is active. So when I redirect this link, I'm gonna copy this link. I'm gonna paste this here in my browser. 
look what happens. It's going to redirect to my review, right? Now, let's say that this review is not active yet. This review, uh, this offer is not active yet. I'm going to edit my link in here and I'm going to set the date, let's say the 9th of October. It's already been the 9th, right? And let's say this offer expired yesterday, the 12th. Look what happens when I save my changes. Something went wrong, not sure what. Let me put this earlier here to the 8th, save changes. Okay, I'm not sure what is going wrong now. Maybe that's because it's a date in the past. Uh, but basically what happens is it's going to show you that page that the link has been expired. Create so let a me new one very quickly, reach, reach out to. Destination URL, let me grab this URL quickly. There, it's a personal pop links. Enter a visible URL, so reach out to and select the vendor. So I'm going to do here, Neil Napier, select group, JVZoo again, advanced options. So what I'm going to show you now is the date for the link here is I want to set the date in the future. So I want to set this to October 16th. That's Sunday till the 22nd, right? And then the pages for the link, the set page is coming soon and the complete page, sorry, this page has expired. When I save this link now, you can see that this link has become pending. So when I go to this link, look what happens. It automatically redirects to this page coming soon. We're launching the 20th of October. So you get an overview of your links in here, the link bank. Here you can see all the links, you can see the total clicks, etc. filtered by groups. Um, and you can see all your active links. So these are all my active links. I can see all my pending links. So these are, I have a completed link here. This is a completed link. My great product expired. So what happens when I go to this link, look what happens. This offer has expired. Unfortunately, this offer has expired. So that's a good example. So here are Evergreen and my links as well that you can add. So this is a link bank of all of your links that you have created inside of Poplinks. Then the page bank is all the details of your pages. So in here you can see all the signups that have signed up through your opt-in pages, all the email addresses uh, from your lead steps, but also from your bridge pages. Remember that you could create here lead steps and bridge pages. So you can select lead steps here, people that signed up, the bridge page where people signed up, and the offer page. Now I think the offer pages is part of that page snaps, which I cannot show you now because it's not in my account yet, uh, which is uh, where you can add your pop-ups on top of other people's websites. So you could basically share another website with social on social media, people visit that website and then your pop-up or your small pop-up at the bottom uh, shows up where you can redirect them to your own offers. Now, inside of the group library here, you can set up everything. So you can add vendors. As you can see, these are the vendors that I've added. But you can add vendors in here, new vendors. You could do link types. So these are the affiliate networks. But you can create your own link types, whatever you prefer. You could hold your holding pages that I just showed you, the expired pages and the coming soon pages. Here you can add your own domain. So as you can see here, I already added poplings of Tim Verdell, but you can add Unlimited, I think you can add unlimited domains in here. So here you can quickly add your own domain so that you can use your own domains with your pages and with your uh, links that you've shortened. Also the lead steps, you can create categories in here for the lead steps, like I did with giveaways, ads pages, freebies, etc. And then your bridge pages, exactly the same. You can add categories as well. Uh, let me Quickly check where you can set up your integrations. That's here at the top here. When you go to integrations, you can also integrate with all these autoresponders. So we have Aweber, Active Campaign, Sendlane, GetResponse, MailChimp, SendReads, Latch Mail, Infusionsoft, iContact, MailVio, SendInBlue, Sendio, MailerLite, and SendGrid. Uh, when somebody subscribes to your list, it's not only registered inside of Poplinks, but also in your autoresponder. And you can fire uh, your list when somebody subscribes to your list. And I think that's uh, basically what Poplinks is all about. It's a very robust 
platform as you can see it, the pages are super fast loading you can mo uh, edit the pages on your mobile phone it's two-step like i said it's not a drag and drop page builder but i think they've done a pretty good job with this page builder and uh, again if you're interested make sure to check out the link in the description below uh, you're also going to get my free software here uh, this free video hosting service which translates all of your videos Two different languages which will also get transcription etc uh, simply purchase this through my link and i'm going to email it automatically to you uh, and also if you haven't done yet please give a thumbs up if this review was useful For, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't done yet hit that notification bell to get notified each time i upload a new review uh, and i hope this review was very useful for you so let me know in the comments below uh, also if you have any questions let me know and thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next video talk soon cheers